tell a story. Let me tell you. A good story must be told within this framework. It has to have a beginning. Where the preliminaries take place, characters are introduced and the drama is set. And then comes the business. Where there is a conflict of some kind. And then the end. Where the conflict is resolved and everything is smoothened out. No, more or less. More often than not, we know how these stories end. Don't we? Yet, these stories, they manage to titillate us, <coughs> to reduce us, pull the tears, to push us to the edges of our chairs, to <laughs> break us up into fields of laughter. tell you today begins with death. So in some ways the framework is a tad bit fucked up. It begins where it ought to end. There has never been a death so foretold. That's what we all say. at the square. 203 cases of alcohol and 2,000 bottles of clean liquor. Santiago Nassar had made claim the estimate that the floral decorations used for the wedding were equal to that which have, would have cost 14 first class A gentle drizzle was falling, just like in Santiago's dream. Oh, but I haven't told you about the dream yet. The night before the misfortune, Santiago had dreamt that he was going. 
timber trees. And a gentle kiss on his forehead. And for an instant, he was happy in the dream. Santiago was always dreaming about trees. That's what his mother told him. When I visited her last, she told me, well, actually, she must have made to him. Santiago. Santiago Nassar on the streets that morning was the proprietor of the milk shop.
that, I wouldn't wake up those two men who were waiting to kill him. He was sleeping right there, under that tree. Pablo and Pedro Vicario, with their knives clutched to their chests, wrapped in newspaper, waiting to kill Santiago Nazar. Well, the, the bishop did not stop. Step foot on land. He hates this place. Now he has more excuse to avoid it. But by that time, everyone knew that Angela Vicario, the beautiful girl who had got married the day before, her husband had returned her to her parents' home. with me. He put me in the room next to it. The servants' quarters. That morning, a beggar woman did come saying something about the Vicario brothers wanting to kill Santiago Nazar. I did not warn him because I thought it was drunkard's stock. Now you better be going. I have all meal to prepare. The story of the chronicle of Santiago Nassar's death cannot be told without the mention of 
Bayardo San Roman, the man who had returned his bride. Bayardo arrived in the town six months before the wedding on the weekly boat. Angela Vicario and Bayardo San Roman met was at the, at the monthly bazaar. But Angela was in charge of selling raffle tickets. He went straight to her and asked for the price of the beautiful music box inlaid with Mother of Pearl, the star attraction of the fair. And she told him, When Angela mentioned the lack of love, her mother simply replied, Love can be learned too. Nobody would have thought that Angela was not a virgin, for she had been brought up under, under the rigor of the strictest of mothers.
everyone was empty drunk. Angela and Bayardo headed to their new home together. down to sleep. She heard a loud knock at the door. Indulging in drunken revelry on the streets. Pedro held her by the arm and put her down at the dining table. She only took the time necessary to say the name. She found in the shadow of her room, amongst the easily many confused. Pablo and Pedro, the twins. Pablo is a six months older than me. But he talks faster. Mm -hmm. Pedro is more. He's more. children 
not capable of anything. Father Amador simply said, I didn't know what to do. I thought it was none of my business and something for the civil authorities. Colonel Lafonte, who knew of the Vicario brothers' intentions, simply confiscated their weapons, which the Vicario brothers replaced with two other knives soon enough. returning from their visit to the bishop, they were all collecting at the town square, as if it was one of the parade fields. They were all shouting from various directions. Santiago, Santiago was confused. He could barely remember his way back home. And somehow he just reached the Vicario brothers declared that they would have done it again a thousand times over for the same reason. It was a matter of honor. For years after, for years after we couldn't talk about, we couldn't talk about anything else. else. Everything we did was said. Spun around, spun around the same anxieties. Same anxieties. Maria Alejandria Cervantes the town prostitute. She had done away with the virginity of a whole generation of boys. Experienced a dip in her business. She told men, You smell of him! Who had woken up to screams in the street.
and seen Santiago's cups been drenched out. Couldn't survive the shock. A woman who barely knew Santiago whose only participation was that she had seen the butchering knives in the hands of the two brothers developed an anxiety disorder. <laughs> and one day, unable to take it anymore, ran into the streets, naked. Yeah. 